Hello there, uh, this is Punch. Uh, we meet again. Today I'm gonna talk about uh, my guitar licks uh, that I did. Uh, something that I didn't realize it before until the recently, you know, when I did a recording with, uh, for my band and stuff. And you know, um, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna talk about it a little bit. I've been busy recording uh, an, our band called the Gypsy Van and the gypsy van there's a leaks that i did i guess it's kind of signature for me and i did it almost over and over in every kind of project you know every kind uh if there's a jam i play solo or jamming I, I did it i just need like four notes to do that and i don't care what is what the chord is uh as far as i got the tonic i got the what you play in a okay i'll do it for me you know but uh, it's kind of cool leaks and very simple but it's really cool very powerful so stay tuned I'm gonna hit it back there so you, you're not picking my plane <laughs> and I'll show you later <laughs> So, uh, sorry, cable again, problem, okay. Uh, what you got there? Is it sounds good or not? It's cool? If it's cool, I continue this lesson or not. Well, forget it. <laughs> Kidding. Uh, what I did is, it's very simple, really. No tricks, no formula, whatever, but I'll show you what I did. It's just the mumbling sound like... You know that? Sorry, Kevin. The, the, the I did there. It's very simple. It's uh, it consists the tonic, uh, flat third, and sharp four. You can call it sharp eleven or flat five, whatever. I didn't, I didn't care. And this one is five, fifth. So it's almost like there's leading tonality. Of it. But it's kind of weird because I got this minor flat third, so. So what I did there, I play over in A right now. So it's an A, there's a, what is it, C, and E flat, and E. So one flat third, uh, sharp 11, fifth. And to practice this one, I encourage you, either you're picking, you can do that, whatever, but I I think, you know, for the art's shake, uh, sake, I mean, I don't care what, if people love to pick, then pick, you know, but, but, I, but I, I believe that Play Like Ghetto style over this one is really cool and you can uh, corporate your right hands to do a mute over here so it sounds like beefy you know something like just play uh, what you call it this hammer and pull hammer and pull with your fingers so uh, I do this with three fingers actually I didn't even play my uh, my four fingers and so I just this one. So this, I just one, two, three, you know. So this one, first finger, second finger, first finger, uh, third finger, second, first finger, second, and we repeat that, and out in octave above that. I always love to do that because uh, you know it's the same note, it just play an octave and sounds cool. So you don't have to think, oh, I'm gonna play what, you know, don't like that. Because we can do a lot of that with minimalism and the small notes. And this one. Slow, this one. That, play an octave of it. And play an octave. 
and repeat that and you know ascending descending so you can <laughs> What I did there is hammer, pull off, pull off, hammer. <laughs> all the time and I think that's really cool either it's a major chord you can even we know that this one flat third I play a major chord so it's just like uh, it's not makes sense in theoretical so I didn't talk about that I don't talk about the theoretical I'm talking about playing and this is, sounds good and, uh, I don't care. Yep. This one is uh, domain seven, kind of blues, kind of progression. But I did. But this one is made the core, but it's still working. Because maybe because this, you know, sharp eleven that makes sounds like Lydian and Lydian, you know, related to major key, major harmony, so we can do. Uh, major uh, in major you can do either a Ionian like a major scale and you can either do a Lydian a Lydian thing over there you know sounds sounds really cool and that's that's the thing that I want to say to you uh, about this lick so you know you can incorporate this into a different kind of style and playing. You can always, if you find the uh, what you call it, the root of the key that you you guys playing, and if you can jam, jamming and whatever, you can use that. You can just ab absolutely can use that. Whatever. You call. <laughs> Something, something weird, something wicked. It's almost like ambiguity, you know, in the major, minor, but it's become one. So, uh, yeah, that's the lick that I want to share uh, today, and it's very simple, and you can you can try that. So you now you can play not just. Uh, For there you can that's how you do that man to make it cool and what I did there instead I just play an octave and repeat that on the fifth string this one actually for practice you know not for I don't know if you can go for it when you're playing then go ahead and that's it so uh, yeah, there's something that I realized that I, I always play by form in my head. I didn't really. I know scale, I know modes, I know harmony, for sure. Uh, but in my head, I always there's a like form that I like it and it stick with me.